Hello and welcome to yet another installation of egocentric masturbation. This one is a blatant ego massage session. Oh yes. Um, there is behind it though, it's not for no reason, because I have honestly been getting requests um, to explain where that I've been um, in terms of producing videos and what I've been doing for the past year or so. Um, well, first and foremost, I have been working a series of interviews called Artsess, where I've been interviewing various artists about their views on art and success. You may be wondering why the hell would anyone do that? Well, basically, um, if you know anything about my work, if you've been following me, then you will know that I started doing this in 2006. I'm not classically trained as an artist. I'm actually self-taught. I studied biology at university and I worked in the pharmaceutical industry for six years. Um, yes, I'm an old bird. Um, and so during that time, my, my understanding of success has always been about um, whether it's gaining good grades or making lots of sales and making lots of money. Um, so... Obviously, the art world, uh, especially starting out, is something completely different. So I completely had to reevaluate my concept of success because um, not knowing anything about it, I came into it with the naive assumption that I could um, organise my own exhibition, uh, <laughs> put loads of work up and say, right, I need to sell X amount of work to a break even and X amount of work, Y amount of work to make a profit. Uh, no, didn't work like that for me because obviously I'm an unknown. So I had to reevaluate my concept of success and um, getting into this game is a tough one and you really have to be very persistent and hard headed. Um, and there are times when you're not selling any work and you have to do other things to bring in the money to pay the bills. So I um, obviously been working a lot and having conversations with various other artists to find out what their views were on their different journeys and what they thought success was. Uh, obviously different people have different opinions uh, based on their own personal experiences, their background, location, upbringing, etc. Um, but in talking to these artists and finding out their stories, I learned a lot. Um, and I thought, well, why not make it into a series? Not just for me, but for other artists to learn as well. And it's been going from strength to strength. I've interviewed some really pretty amazing people, um, the likes of, if you follow me on YouTube then you will be aware of the Rebecca Fontaine Wolf interview, she's an up and coming artist who, um, she was on a show, TV show called Show Me The Monet last year and her prices doubled overnight after she was on that and she's a really nice person as well, um, and Shiri Achu, another lovely girl, and um, she's on this year's Show Me The Monet. Then we have Toby Mulligan, who is a finalist in this year's uh, BP Portrait Award at the National Portrait Gallery in London. And we have Tim Okamura, BP Portrait Award finalist five times. Yeah, five times. He's that good. He really is that good. Um, yep, interviewed him. Very interesting, very nice person as well. Um, ben H. Summers, owner of Beats In My Brush. Uh, another really lovely person and extremely talented guy, uh, Edward Fossu, good friend of mine and extremely talented as well. I am in awe. Um, Romald, Romald Hazume, I have to be careful to pronounce that, I don't think I got it right. Um, he is from Benin, he, um, along with the likes of uh, like Earl Anatsui is kind of leading the pack in terms of African artists pushing forward now very interesting and highly critical work um, I'll put the link below then Rene Cox Rene Cox is the work I have admired for a while and I've written her before briefly here when I um, I'll post the link below where I talked about my favorite women in art and I was chuffed that I got to interview her and that was purely because of Tim Okamura actually. Um, so that's just to name but a few. Um, Rude Van Empel, 
actually I interviewed Ruud van Empel recently um, really really nice man his work is collected by the likes of Elton John he sent me a documentary that was done about him he's Dutch um, fine art photographer the work completely blows your mind so look out for that interview and I'll post a link to his website below as well so you can see what I'm talking about phenomenal um, that's it really uh, aside from that the well the Art Success interviews have been gathering steam over the past year so I will be making compiling them all into a book um, by the end of next year and also the work the interviews have been published on my own blog obviously another blog called contemporary modern art very popular art blog and in an arts and culture magazine which is distributed here in the uk called line magazine again i'll post the link below aside from that i am drawing constantly on a daily basis um and um, there should be a show at the back end of 2013 fingers crossed. That's it. Uh, I've just posted another video for a competition to win a book about my art which I will be putting out towards the back end of this year so if you're interested in that then the link is down there and if I can figure out how to do it I may actually put the video here so that you can click it. Anyway that's enough rambling for now. Thank you very much for listening and until next time take care. Thank you. Bye.